the block from Isaiah, just from your vantage point, how, how it all kind of came through? Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the same sentiment as, as everybody in the building, fired up to see our players make plays. Um, it was really cool to see uh, Isaiah Simmons, uh, you know, number one, understand what his responsibility was on that play and throughout the week just in my ear about, like, hey, I'm going to get this thing if you call it. I said, I'm not afraid to call it, man. You know, I have faith in him. And he kept uh, kept showing up every practice and got a good amount of reps. And, you know, when his number was called, he was ready. And uh, and it was so cool to see, see him have that success. Um, you know, he basically manifested that play in his mind. Uh, and, you know, he, he was able to execute. And it was really cool to see the rest of the group, uh, you know, carry out their responsibilities because it does take all 11 for you to have success on any play. And it was, uh, again, you know, I always talk about the power of positivity with our guys and just to see the authentic celebration and enjoyment with one another. Obviously, it was a, a big time play in the game, but to see them celebrate one another's success, you, it just speaks volumes about our team. Dave said he was, he was wanting to maybe call it earlier and you kept calling him off of it and saying, let's wait, let's wait. What was the dynamic with that? Here? Yeah. So, so with every game, we have a lot of discussions. Um, Dave's is, uh, understands what our game plan is on every unit. Um, you know, and I think you know, as a coordinator, it's my responsibility to communicate to the head coach throughout the game. And, you know, it's, it's awesome because Dave's is very well versed with our game plan. So he understands what we're trying to get accomplished. Um, and he doesn't force us to make calls, you know, we just have discussions. And I think that's why, you know, we have a healthy and great relationship um, because he brings up a lot of good points throughout the week and during game day and, and no different than myself. So it was it was just good communication. What was the dynamic of waiting to that moment instead of maybe using it earlier? You know, th there's, there's certain strategy elements with down and distance, time and game, um, you know, dependent on hash. There's a, just with any call, you want to make sure that uh, you're giving your guys the most opportune look to run it. Um, I think, you know, you never want to just be so stubborn that you're going to call it just to call it. You just what you want to make sure that, you know, when the opportunity presents itself, like we talked about during the week that, you know, we call it and then our players execute it. Is Where'd a, chance you, is a chance you don't get the chance to call it there, right? At the end. So it just kind of goes away, right? Or no question. Yeah. They, that but that's any game like that throughout the game like you have your list of plays and not everything is called you know on every unit you just want to make certain that you're ready for it when you know that time comes and it happened to time up very well for for our guys to take advantage of that play how did you come up with the idea of the play like is it something you've come across in, in others others places you've been is it something you know you worked on here like we're, we're yeah like, no where it's uh i mean it, it roots back uh honestly, for my days at UCLA. Um, and I've kind of carried something similar uh, every stop, every spot I've been in. But it, it the, the one thing, uh, when you just look across the league, I'm not the first person to run it, right. you know? And I think there's a lot of good ideas out there, which is, um, you know, we're, we're always studying trends of the league and, and certain things that come up, whether it's this year, whether it's last year, and the last five years. Um, but that happens to be something that, you know, I have ran in the past. You used that against the Giants when you were at the Jets last year, pretty much, right? It was similar. There, there, there was something similar that, that was used, definitely. Can you yeah, take us through that, the, uh, on that, just on that play, you mentioned how it takes all 11. Was, is part of that McLeod and Bryce not getting in the way, being there for when the ball is free? Is that discussed? Was that part of the, the game? Because it really looked like, you know, they were in the perfect spot, but they weren't rushing the punter as well and it just seemed like it was you know Isaiah and you guys do your role yeah outside is that fair to say it is fair yeah you have to allocate uh certain responsibility for everybody on that play to where it all gels together that's my job as a coordinator um you know sending an all-out block where all 11 go guys are going to end up picking each other and getting in the way of each other um so I think people when like when I install a play, whether it's on punt return, field goal, field goal block, it doesn't matter. Guys got to understand uh, where they fit in the general scheme and why we're doing it. Um, and that was something I explained throughout the week of, you know, with Nick and BFW just being ready for that opportunity. You know, uh, when we did block it, what was going to happen? Um, so it, again, a credit to all 11 guys execute their assignment. They're in position to, to have success on that day. Is that one of those things where you've used it and could you use it again this year again, or is it you know, or, or is or is that expected now from 
opposition. You, know? you always got to be ready to have a menu. <laughs> every every game we go in, um, and we have certain plays on every unit. Um, and when the opportunity presents itself, I think our guys will be ready to run it. Um, so it doesn't matter whether it's ran once or ten times, and other teams do it. Um, if the opportunity presents itself, you know we'll we'll move forward with that. So that's not necessarily like a one-time bullet, so to speak. I don't think anything is ever off the table, yeah. you know. Um, but I think you just got to be got to be very mindful of when you call things. One of the when things did, I just a quick follow. When did you realize like Isaiah was right for that role? Um, in that position, that spot, like what was that training camp? Was that something as the weeks went on the season? Yeah, uh, just studying Isaiah before he even got here um, and knowing what his physical capability, he is an unbelievable athlete um, and he has really good size as well. So you combine the two and you see um, a guy that can jump out of the gym. You know, a guy that understands defense fundamentals of getting off the ball. Uh, so just, you know, when you look at a roster, like, and, you know, Zay has contributed on our other units, and I was like, okay, this is a perfect opportunity for him. Um, and Zay, to Zay's credit, you know, whatever I've asked of him, he has shown up with a smile on his face and tried to do it to the best of his ability. Um, and it's, it, again, so cool to see him put in the work to be able to execute that. Obviously, you have you communicate with Dave all the time. Can you take us through the inner workings of when you took it to him last week and his reaction and, and whatnot? Cause... Yeah. Um, you know, throughout the, like, obviously, like I said, we he he's, understands what our game plan is, you know, so it starts there. Um, and then we go into the game. You know, I'm talking to my guys. Uh, we're having conversations with Dave's. Um, I'm seeing what the opponent is doing to us. So there's a lot of, you know, general things that you're looking for. Um, and then whether it's that play or any other play, you're looking at, okay, this is off the table, this is on the table. Okay, there's potential that this could be called. And then in my mind, you're always looking at score differential. Um, you're looking at down and distance. So all those situations are coming up. So it's it's ongoing discussions. I know I keep saying that, but there I, really is. I didn't mean to interrupt, but I meant more like during the week that that particular look that you saw and, and the drawing up of the play oh, towards I, for Isaiah and, and your conversation with Dave when you brought it to him. Yeah, so when he uh, when he uh, walked to my office at the beginning of the week and said, what do we have up this week? That was one of those things that I was like, okay, there's an opportunity for this to be present. Um, showed him a few clips of it and uh, he was like, okay, let's do it. You know, I, it, it was it was pretty, uh, pretty simple and, uh, you know, awesome with Dave's just, you know, he, he lets us run with things, you know, and I think with anything you present to anyone, you want to have evidence. I don't think you ever just want to call a call just to call it. So, um, again, with all our game plan, we're always showing them why we want to do things. And that's the same with, with the players, especially players nowadays. Uh, you got to show them the why, you know. Um, but I will say this, like, what a what an awesome play. And it's so well executed by our, by our guys. Um, but very quickly, I've told our guys that we're in a week-to-week -week league, right? And you have to show up this week now. Um, it's, it's no different. We got tremendous respect uh, for Cincinnati. And, you know, Darren has done a hell of a job for, for years, for years. Um, and we got a good challenge ahead of us to be able to go out and execute. What takes you, more? One thing that came up was Lincoln Tomlinson. He didn't appreciate the, I guess, he, he, he didn't like the, the tactic of, you know, keeping the guards or the guys around him down. How much of that is do you discuss beforehand? Is that just sort of like, hey, this is the rule. We're going to play it by the rule. And that's not illegal in this case. Yeah, n n not to discredit your question. Again, like um, in my mind, we we do have to move on to Cincinnati. And uh, it's, it's not to say that um, I don't want to answer your question with that. You know, we always coach our guys to make certain that they understand the rules um, and how to execute those rules uh, with that play, with any play. And, you know, I think our, our guys were very well versed on what they can and cannot do, um, and they were able to execute. But with that being said, like, we're, we're going to be presented with um, other situations throughout the season that I, that's, again, my job to tell our guys, hey, this is the strength of this, this is the weakness of this, this is how a ref could potentially call this. You got to put yourself in this position. It could be something as simple as a block in the back, you know, so like, um, whether it's that play, whether it's another play, our guys got to understand, you know, what the refs are looking at. And then it's my job also to show them the trends of the week um, to be like, okay, this was called. Why? Put yourself in this play call. Why was this called? And I think that's ultimately 
how you make any scheme come to life is there is a real understanding of the NFL rules and how you could take advantage of it. Like this is just a class more general question about Dave's and you guys faced early adversity, obviously, in that game in general, obviously, with the return and whatnot. Uh, as an assistant coach, what, what did you learn from, or what have you learned and what you learned from about the way Dave's handles adversity, stays the even keel, or you know, however, however you want to use it? Just what's that dynamic of him that, that, that becomes a strength? He, he has been awesome. Um, he's such a uh, tremendous leader for our team and tremendous leader for coaches, too. Um, you know, he empowers you as coach, uh, as a coach. Uh, he empowers myself. Um, you know, I think we have a great staff that, you know, speaks the same language and we believe in common things. So uh, whether there be good things, whether there be bad things um, that happen in a game, there's always healthy discussions because ultimately Dave's is a competitor. I'm a competitor. We have a team full of competitors. Um, and I'm talking true competitors, you know, that aren't motivated by external factors that want to truly be the best versions of themselves, including myself. Um, and I think Dave's knows that of me and I know that of Dave's and I think our staff knows that of each other and our team knows that of, of each other because at the end of the day, we all want the same thing. Um, so, you know, to our relationship has been awesome because the, the type of leader he is, you know, and he's giving you feedback throughout whether the game, the week, um, and he's been around this league for a long time. So, uh, you know, tremendous respect for him and love for him uh, for the opportunity. And, um, you know, look forward to many more good moments.